So I decided to travel to relax my head a bit, but on my mini vacation, I met one of you, yes you, on YouTube, who asked me a question that I have never really thought about, and he asked, what is the use of auto freeze in Moho Studio? Well, as simple as that question is, my brain froze. Um, I'm not going to bore you with how I skipped that question, but when you subscribe and watch this video to the end, you will know the use of auto freeze keys in Moho Studio. Let's go! I am sure you are excited already, so let's get it started. Understanding what auto freeze keys mean in Moho Studio, this will be really quick and simple, so I need you to pay full attention. Really excited about this. While animating, you can toggle on auto freeze keys or toggle it off. If you have it toggled on, you will have your keyframes frozen that whatever animation you create will have a repeated frame, a copy of the former frame in it. And what it does is that the whole animation initially made on one frame will be remembered by the computer on the new frame you create not except you create a different animation let me show you an example so we'll go to our bone here to move his hand like this if you notice right here we have all the keyframes up here for the bone and for the body at the same time this is what happens when you toggle on your auto freeze. So what this means is that if I move to frame 6 for example and move this hand also like this, you could see the computer remembers this whole frame and put it here at the same time while you create your animation. And if I move forward, let's say to frame 18 and I rotate the head a bit and I rotate the body, this you would see the computer keeps creating the same keyframes all over again. When you have this, it helps you animate real quickly and makes your life easy, but also can create complications because if you want to go back, for example, let's say at frame 12, to maybe make this hand do something else, what you will find out is because the computer remembers what it has recorded on this frame and you have put it here already what will happen is if you play the animation the hand actually does what you want but it goes back to its original um, frame if you don't want it to go back to its original frame you may have to delete these keyframes but what about if you have created so much animation and you just notice something that you want to edit within the animation and you don't you can't go back and recreate all this animation this is where you toggle off your auto freeze keys and when you toggle off your auto freeze keys it makes your life easier because you create animations now on each bone you create each keyframe for each bone on the character itself and you then toggle it on when you want the computer to remember the whole keyframes on the animation i hope i'm explaining this properly <laughs> so let's say i want to move this hand right now if you notice what happens here instead of having the whole keyframe appear here we only have the keyframe for this bone right here rotate bone and this bone right here all right so we now have the angle bone here for this animation if you notice other parts of the body is not affected by this animation we only have just this hand moving okay and let's say we move forward and we move the head for example we move the head like this if you notice still it is just the head that is moving this bone right here we are only animating the keyframe for this bone right here and if we play this you will notice the head is moving while the hand is moving at the same time this will help you create easy animation when you want to create your animation. It makes your animation more fluid and much more real. But if you have your key auto freeze keys turned on, your animation will be much more static, you know, much more robotic. But it helps you animate really faster. I think that's the difference. All right. So depending on what you want to create, you can mix both together. 
using the auto freeze frame and not using it so that you create a much more smoother and interesting animation at the end of the day but one thing you should always keep in mind that for example we have animated this bone right here like this while we move forward we should always consider that this whole body apart from these bones that we worked on their frames are not here so that means if you move forward you would have to add a keyframe before you probably move another bone if not you will have your animation lagging let's say if we move at we move to frame 48 for example and suddenly move the body like this this is what we have when we play the animation you see your animation will be dragging all through which is not what you really want for animation that is why it's wise to always use your auto freeze frame or you make sure that whatever bone you want to move for example let me delete this let's say we have this as our animation and i'll move to like let's say frame 42 before i move any other bone i will have to go to frame 36 the closest one to that bone and let's say it's the middle the torso bone i want to move all i have to do is just click on it and if i have clicked on it it has added a keyframe there and i don't want the keyframe to be all to be on all the bones on the body i just want the keyframe to be on just this bone so i'll move to frame 42 and now move that bone so when i play this animation you see it moves smoothly all right and at frame 30 i can also go ahead at frame 24 highlight this bone right here and go to frame 30 and move this bone now you would see the animation would move accordingly without this bone this hand here coming back to its original position but if we have it in auto freeze frame this hand will come back to its original position like i showed you initially so if you have any more questions about auto freeze frame please say it tell me in the comments below and tell me if you toggle auto freeze frame while you animate or you don't use it at all so that i will know how to help those who still don't understand how to create animation using auto freeze frames and do check out the links below they are really helpful and i'll see you in the next video where i teach you how to create better animations love you guys and thank you for subscribing to my channel see you in the next video if you have watched up until this point i want to say congratulations and i hope the video has been educative entertaining and enlightening do drop a comment below if you have any questions special requests or contributions and as promised here is your gift do check out the link in the description below to get it most importantly subscribe and support the channel and make sure you watch the next video to learn something new and i will see you there